Oftentimes in spiritual communities, people take the position that, oh, they're spiritual, therefore they don't really have to know anything about money or finances, and, and that's not so important because they're spiritual. Um, and here's my position on that. I understand why people feel that way. Uh, and maybe at one point on my journey, I might have felt that way too. Um, but I think that's a mistake. I, I think that's a huge, huge, huge mistake. And what that does is it leaves our communities like vulnerable um, to all kinds of exploitation. Um, it puts us in a position, it puts our communities in a position of weakness uh, where we can't fight back, where we cannot uh, take care of things that should be taken care of. So for people who say that, well, they don't need to understand finances. They don't need to focus on financial wellness. One of the questions I have for them is, well, the things that you care most deeply about, are you able to take care of them? Are you able to fund projects you care about? Are you able to spend time with people uh, you say you love? These are questions that we should be asking ourselves. And to be honest, oftentimes the answer is no. You know? Magnetic affection, she pulling me close.